Hey everyone, my name is Draconix and welcome to the first episode of The Walking Dead. Uh, it's an old game, but seems as season 2 is coming out, I decided I wanted to play this one before season 2. So, here it is. <laughs> Enjoy. Let's begin. Play. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll need the help. <laughs> It's a new day. Damn load screens. This game series adapts to the choices you make and yeah, cuts it off right in the middle of a sentence. Ooh, that's some eerie music. Oh really, was I playing The Walking Dead? I didn't get that from the main title. No. Oh, look at that city. Slow down! You bastard! And obviously that's who I'm playing as. <laughs> that haircut. <laughs> Yeah, would you look at it? Those beady little eyes. Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Why do you say that? You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. Not for me. Cause guys in your position already said it enough? Maybe. That haircut. I followed your case a little bit, you being a making boy and all. Ah, you're from the same place as me, how uninteresting. You're from making boy. Yep. Came up to Atlanta to be a city cop in the 70s. Always wanted to work a murder case. Like that senatorial mess you got yourself mixed up in. With all due respect. A real shame, that is. Nino, Hell, Nino. Oh, that's an ambulance. Shit. Used to be regulars at your folks' drugstore right in downtown. Still there? Sure is. Good. Oh, tens and twenties. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on my sixth year. You meet your wife in Athens? You want to know how I see it? I don't really have a choice, choice really. Sure don't. Exactly, there you go. Fuck off. <laughs> Regardless, Give it the gun. could be you just married the wrong woman. Give me the gun! Give me the gun! <laughs> yeah, that's not an answer. Now, I'm trying not to talk through the, uh, the dialogue, but I'm not doing too good as it so far, so <laughs> bear with me. Give me the fucking gun. Any of that seem important to you? All of it. But that box never shuts up. Sit in this seat and pay too much attention and you'll drive yourself crazy. I'm driving this man once. He, he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella. Big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're sitting. Oh, that's nice, I'm sitting in snot. Then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. Not tell him he's got to stop. That's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama! mama it's all a big mistake. Mama. <laughs> it wasn't me. Uh. So did he do it? So did he do it? 
They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. It goes to show, people will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. I got another good one for you. No, officer. 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 There's someone in the road. Officer. 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 <laughs> 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 Not good sound effects. Oh, look at my eye. I fall back to sleep. And I'm awake again. And I hear disturbing sounds. Unspeakable sounds. <laughs> That's a nice watch. Oh, shit. Oh, he's, uh, yeah, he's wearing a watch. <laughs> what was going to say? Fuck. My leg. Now uh, get over it, you big baby. Why the hell did he have his gun out? It's a bit personal, isn't it? Oh, you mean his shotgun, hey. not his junk. Hey, officer. Okay. Are you alright? I'm still cuffed back here. Oh yeah, he looks fine. Nothing wrong there. Kick. 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 <laughs> oh, look at that shuffle. <laughs> Do the truffle shuffle. I don't want to use one and two, I want to use my damn mouse wheel! Nice one. Elegant as fuck. Graceful as an ice skating turd. Still think he looks fine? Because. Looks a bit dead to me. That's it, hop over there. Can we steal the gun? The gun. Give me the shotgun. I want it. That's it, hobble down. Looks empty. Oh yeah, you do. It'll you be just... easier to carry with these cuffs off. Oh, that's why. Mm. Well, the shotgun shell. You should be able to pick that up. There you go. That wasn't so difficult. Let's have a little shot in. Officer. Happy yeah, Are you okay? <laughs> Obviously not. Butterfingers. <gasps> that music <laughs> makes you think that something's gonna happen. It's very misleading. Oh, that's breathing. Officer. Ooh. <laughs> um, nope. 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 How is he still moving, even by that much, when he was missing the top of his head? Man. Oh, someone in the distance. I sounded a bit Welsh then. <laughs> Help! Go get someone! Did you hear me? I said there's someone in the dis- oh, I can't do it now. Someone in the distance. There we go. 
Oh, that's m that's mildly offensive. Not only mildly, so don't get your panties in a twist. Oh, there's more of them, that's nice. <laughs> but I'm wounded, leave me alone! That's it. <laughs> it's the lamest escape scene ever. <laughs> what is it with zombie games and films and back gardens, really? Haven't you ever took a shortcut before? <laughs> Gunfire. Help! Help! Oh, never mind, you're dragging him towards you. Go die, and I'll be safe. <laughs> Hello? Anybody? What that? Oh, fucking hell, that camera angle. God, he's so slow. Uh, let's have a little peep inside. I if anybody's home. No, oh, no, never mind. You better look inside. It's only glass. You can't look through the glass, apparently. Hello? Anybody home? I need a little help. Yeah, let's just open the door to the person's house we don't even know. Yep. Not breaking and entering in. at all. Don't shoot, okay? Not an intruder, or one of them. Well, you've entered somebody's house without their permission. That's kind of what an intruder is. Than I do. So they would have every right to shoot you. It's a unicorn. <laughs> I like unicorns. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. <gasps> <laughs> Oh my god, this bloke sucks balls. Yep. See if I can do something with that. Answering machine. Three new messages. Message one, left at 5.43 p.m. Hey Sandra, this is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Message 2, left at 11.19 p.m. Ooh. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. What's with the sad please, music? Please, just huh? leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message 3, left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby. If you can hear this, call the police. That's 911. We love you. We love you. Oh, that sounds a chill up my spine. We love you. <laughs> Mixture of that and the music. Woo. Daddy? Huh? Ain't you, Daddy? Is it the cup of water? <laughs> Did the cup of water say it? <laughs> that, yeah, that's where it came from. Hello? 
You need to be quiet. <laughs> that limp. I'm not a monster. Good. Need to add like an eagle voice. I'm not a monster. <laughs> Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. I see you all alone. <laughs> are you safe? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. Beepo. Oh, what's the matter? Oh, that's what's the matter. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, keep, 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 Good job on the world's best button basher. <laughs> you don't do that to people, you stupid bitch. Yuck. <laughs> Look at that eye. I'm sorry, balls. <laughs> Man. Hi there. Did you kill it? Yes. It's okay. I, I think dead. she was a monster. Yeah, I think so too. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? We need to find help before it gets dark. Is that dark's the worst? Yeah, it's not safe at night. Let's go. Stay close to me. So that's Clementine. Are you clicking someone a little more taller? So disappointing. But oh well, the story continues. Oh shit! <laughs> that movement is terrible. Oh, there's some people out there. Hello. Oh man. I ain't never getting home to mama at this rate. This sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? I won't leave you alone. It's the right thing to do. Somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna... <laughs> yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us a shot. <laughs> we need help. Are you trying to get out of here? Because you <laughs> Sorry, should be. Just too funny. Those things are all over the damn place. Don't eat me. I haven't seen anything as gnarly as this neighborhood since downtown Atlanta what 15 a months back. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee. This is Clementine. Any relation to Chuck? I'm Chet. Not close enough. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm... 
Yes, I'm somewhere. good. No, that sounds right. Guy? Yeah. She's alone? Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. What do you want to do? I... The monster's coming. We gotta go. Yeah, they just appear out of nowhere. Just quick. Boom! Let's go. <laughs> It's gonna be a Q moment. No, no, it's not. <laughs> I was pressing Q prematurely for no reason. That's not. That's not the only thing prematurity. I mean, I mean nothing. You've heard nothing. Now we've got the little girl Clementine helping now. Just some guy? It seems like you saved a bunch of lives today. I'm guessing the redness on the outside of the screen is the indication of how much danger you're in. Well, that must have been a long drive. I'm his boy. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. You've brought a couple guests. Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. He really is. So it's just you and your daughter then. Uh, no. Oh, she's not, not my daughter. daughter. He's man. Well, just some guy who found her alone. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. You don't say it's yeah. dangling off, you it's bastard. So good. I can help you out. Well, I said it's better. <laughs> on and check on your sister. You take a seat up on the porch, and I'll go see what I have. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. Could be worse. That's what it sounds like. Seems like things got awful bad in the cities. What did you say your name was? It's, it's Lee. Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. Yeah, you gotta be nice I'm and honest. Green. He's helping me out. Herschel. <sighs> How'd this happen? Car accident. That's so. Where are you headed before the car accident? Home. Where's home? I grew up in Macon. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with? The girl. I was with a police officer. He was giving me a ride. Awful nice of him. I'm an awful nice guy. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there. Yeah. <laughs> here. Uh, right in the barn. name, darling? Clem Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we got to reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Your son's right. You're going to want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Yeah, it's better to be safe to show you, you serious. Did. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. I got chased by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. 
We got plenty of chores as it is. Me and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it, really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. That's good. Thanks. And if your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? Yes, I'm we'll to... probably just have to shoot you. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, what? We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Okay. That's what I wanted to hear. He's just like, There's okay. blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards making, I suppose. All right, then. That's it, Justin. All right here, then. It smells like... Manure. Manure? Like when a horse plops? Just <laughs> like that. <laughs> what? I miss my mom and dad. Uh. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. <laughs> when a fucking horse plop. <laughs> Oh, that's just like the cutest thing you've ever heard. I love you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did you have a nightmare? And back to sleep. You lazy bastard. Hey, get up. <sighs> oh, I'm itchy. I think... That was a safe point there, so I'm going to end this episode here. Let me know what you think of my first part. I would help so much. <laughs> you don't even know. Uh, leave a like and subscribe to become part of the Draconic Legion today. You know you want to. Because it's a fucking cool name. <laughs> anyway, and I'll see you in the next episode. See you then.